A succulent called Boda's Temple is certainly considered one of the diamonds among succulents. The plant propagates only in a vegetative way. For propagation, stem and leaf cuttings are used. The cut site of the mother plant was treated with cytokonin paste for the sake of the experiment. However, as it turned out later, this didn't give a visible result. After a few weeks, a growth bud wakes up near the site of the cut. A young stalk begins to develop. In the video, the young shoot has a reddish tint. The reason for this is the effect of high intensity of sunlight on the plant and high air temperature, significantly higher than 30 degrees Celsius. If the care conditions of the plant are correct, taking into account temperature, illumination, frequency of irrigation, feeding, mechanical and chemical composition of the soil mixture, then the leaves of the plant will have a saturated green color, and the older parts of the plant will have a grey-green color. Some mistakes were made when caring for the succulent, due to inexperience. If the plant is exposed to high temperature, above 30 degrees Celsius, then the succulent plant stops in development, that is, it stagnates. If we add to the high temperature a high intensity of solar illumination, in this case 40% of the dispersion was insufficient. At first the leaves turn red, and then they die off. The whole aerial part of young plants died under the influence of negative factors. With proper care, Cressula has developed a new sprout from the roots. Let's compare the capriciousness of this succulent with another Cressula, Cressula deceptor. In the second plant, the leaves do not die when exposed to the same ultra-high temperatures and high light intensity. The first experience in growing such a succulent gave certain results. Firstly, it is not a slowly growing plant, as is commonly believed. With proper care, the succulent gives an increase every two weeks, two leaves more. Leaf growth over the damaged part developed in one and a half month. If your region has hot summers, then at noon the Buddha's temple needs to be removed in a deep shadow. For the development of the plant, several hours of direct sunlight in the morning or evening are enough. If you do not have controlled conditions for 6 months, then unfortunately failure will await you when propagating by leaf cuttings. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. I wish you good luck and see you in the next episode.